Hey, what's up everybody? This is uh, Danny, a.k.a. OLB. And, uh, hey, just wanted to um, <clears throat> take a few minutes, make a kind of quick video on yeah, what's been going on lately. So, uh, new consoles came out. That's the uh, Xbox and the PlayStation. Got both of them. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky. You can see them. I'm sorry, everything's back it's right up there. That's the boxes. But anyway, uh, not gonna lie, been playing my PlayStation a lot more than I've been playing my Xbox. And, and the only reason why is because there's actually there's some new games for it. And you know, maybe maybe they're not the the best. Maybe they're not the most uh, high quality games, or, or whatever your your opinion is. I mean, there's Demon Souls, there's Godfall. Um, you know, there's a few others like Miles Morales, which I haven't, I haven't played that yet. Um, you know, in a couple and, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I know Godfall has gotten kind of a polarizing reviews. I've been playing the crap out of it with my friends and I, I like it a lot. It is, it's okay. Single player, but it's really good when you're playing multiplayer does have a few networking issues though where occasionally it'll lag or you'll get disconnected or kicked or whatever uh, you know, but, but it's a new console it's a new game so I'm assuming that they'll probably you know get this stuff fixed I know there was a patch yesterday but you know whatever and then uh, you know obviously I've been playing the Series X a little bit um, but mostly just zombies um, you know Call of Duty uh, I do have an issue where you know I was playing Call of Duty yesterday and it, it shut my system down uh, twice uh, like full on shutdown, so um, wasn't too happy about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, so still waiting on Sony to, you know, hopefully get some firmware updates out to where we can use our, you know, SSDs. If you bought one, I, I bought the two terabyte one for, you know, uh, the Western Digital Black 850 or whatever. It, theoretically, it's fast enough to do everything Sony requires and. I yeah, think it was 450 bucks, but uh, definitely, you know, need that. Uh, I will say this. I did go out and buy a new headset for the PS5 simply because I get it. The, the little speaker and the microphone on the controllers for people that don't have one. Uh, but it sucks. It really sucks. Like, you can barely hear anybody, uh, even with the speaker volume all the way up. Um, the mic works surprisingly well, but the speaker itself is terrible. Um... You know, so you definitely probably want to do that. I did finally pull out my Series 2 Elite controller to pair up to my Series X. You know, I haven't done it yet. I just, I, I need some games for the Series X. That's that's the biggest problem. Like, I, I love backwards compatibility and, and all that. I get it. And, you know, this goes for Sony, too. But I didn't buy your new console to play old games, you know. It, it's nice to do that. And, you know, there's times when you're like, hey, man, I want, I want to play a game. Um... You know, I want to I wanna do this or this or this, whatever. But, that, but the, the initial launch <clears throat> is not why we, we, we buy these consoles, you know, just to play old games. We buy them for the new games. And, you know, I've seen people are like, oh, this is the best PlayStation launch lineup ever. Or, this is the best Xbox lineup. I don't know what y'all are getting, but it is not. Like, man, I... I've been a gamer since the, you know, Atari, and I remember Nintendo, Super Nintendo, places. there were way more games or better quality games that launched for these systems, you know? I don't know if I'm, you know, remembering right or something, but, you know, I remember the original Xbox, you know? It had a pretty good launch lineup, and it had Halo. You know, I remember uh, the original PlayStation had Battle Arena Toshiden and Ridge Racer and, you know, tons of really good games. And, and the PS2 launched with a lot of great games. So, you know, I'm hearing these things and these people are like, hey, man, uh, this is the best launch line I've ever. Where? Where are the games at? And it's a terrible launch. You don't have enough systems. You let scalpers get a hold of everything. Uh, and then you, you did staggered rollouts, at least Sony did, you know, for like, oh, the U.S. gets it here, Japan gets it here, the U.K. gets it here. That's terrible. You know, that just that just feeds the scalpers. And you can only use COVID as an excuse for so long on why everything's so screwed up. But eventually it's got to fall back to you. Well, well, if you knew that everything was screwed up 
and that your production was going to be limited or whatever. Why don't you just delay the system? Delay it. Everybody would have been fine if you didn't release it in 2020 and you released it in 2021. Yeah, it would suck, you know, because you got to wait. But guess what? For, for Microsoft, guess what? You'd have had Halo Infinite. You would have had a bunch more games lined up to launch with. The same for Sony. You know, Sony, you would have had Ratchet and Clank and, uh, you know, whatever other games you're, you're going you're gonna to do. The, the, the point is, nobody would have been upset if you would have delayed six months, you know, a year. Just to really make sure you had the production. You knew they were going to sell out. You knew they were instantly. You know, um, I had to get up at 3 a.m on the, the launch day of the Xbox to go get me an Xbox simply because Amazon screwed up my my order um, you know my friends have heard me complain about this you know and I'm, I'm not trying to whatever but I ordered the day those pre-orders went live on Amazon I got one like that and you know then my, my buddy he was tweeting me saying hey you can pre-order on, on, on Amazon I'd already got it on Amazon I was good I was ready to go and, you know, as the weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks went by, you know, my buddies, theirs got charged for, or, you know, said preparing to ship. And all, mine didn't say anything. It just kept sitting there. And I'm like, hmm. So the day before the launch, I call Amazon. I'm like, uh, what's going on with my launch here, you know, with, with my system? And they're like, oh, it's a problem with your credit card. And I'm like, that's funny. It's, a, it's an Amazon credit card. And they're like, no, 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 you need to call your bank. I said, no, it's an, an Amazon credit card. And the guy's like, oh, it's an Amazon Visa. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, let me check on this. So he puts me on hold for a couple of minutes. He comes back and he goes, oh, I talked to the fulfillment center. There's no consoles available. I'm like, well, no, no crap, man. Like, I know that. That's why I'm calling you because I had one pre-ordered. And, uh, you know, he's like, well, you know, it goes off fulfillment centers. And if your fulfillment center got it. And I'm like, are you... Are you that dumb? Like, there's like 15 fulfillment centers or whatever, you know, are all around me within a couple hours of each other. You mean to tell me that in this area of Virginia that nobody ordered an Xbox off it was I no. You guys screwed up, just like Walmart, Best Buy, Target, everybody. You guys screwed up. You know, Sony's thing was a complete catastrophe. And then Microsoft was like, hey, we're announcing ours, you know, on this date so that you can pre-order, you know, but theirs was a disaster here was my thing why didn't you open pre-orders months and months and months ago you know why didn't you do that because then at least people would have realized they weren't going to get one or at least there could have been waves of shipments and people would have known you know you could have felt out the supply demand and been like man we were there's five million xboxes five million playstations that people want we need to get these you know in in, in staggered ways so anyway i had to get up at 3 a.m and you know got to a GameStop ton of people there got to another game stop there's people sleeping on the ground there drove an hour north to the next city over and got to the game stop at 7 a.m. and there was one dude flying and I was like okay I gotta stand here for three hours but I'm gonna stand here so I stood there for three hours and thank God they had one for me you know they had five extras and I got one of them but, you know, you shouldn't have to do this, you know, and I've seen some videos from like Jim Sterling and all these other people, you know, that, are, you know, they, they make a living off doing game reviews and game videos and stuff like that. And so they're, you know, it's hurting them out because they couldn't even buy a console. And then you look on Facebook and you see these people that have 10 PlayStation 5s for sale for $1,500, $2,000 a piece. And it's like, people are like, oh, respect the hustle. Like, how is that a hustle? You're literally screwing everybody else over. To get something and I get it that's business one-on-one or whatever it is man that's it's kind of dirt you know that's like the people earlier in the pandemic hoarding all the fucking toilet paper and paper towels and you know and then trying to resell it like why why would you do that you know you're hurting other people and I get it consoles are a little bit different than a pandemic supply issue but the, the, the point is you know, you, you, everybody's just out for themselves and just to screw over the next guy. And it's kind of like, why, why are you like that? Um, you know, I get it. If you want to buy extra consoles and you're going to make a little money off of it, I get it. That's your time. It's valuable. But when you're selling it for three, four, five, six times the, the, the price of you're, you're not, you're not in a, a business. You're capitalizing off people's misfortune. 
And then, you know, the other problem is you've got these people that were using bots that were just completely crashing websites, downing them, and just destroying anybody's hope of getting one. Uh, you know, I got invited direct from Sony to buy one, and I had to sit in the queue <clears throat> uh, for an hour before I was even could place an order. And then I only had 10 minutes to get my console and any other accessories or games that I wanted to buy. Um, you know, that was just, it, it wasn't bad. You know, I, I got, um, let me show you here. I, I've got this. I've got the, the new iPhone 12 Pro Max, right? That was up for pre-order. I got an email from Apple and it was like, hey, do you want to pre-order this? You know? Okay, yeah, go on the Apple Store. Um, you will have a time, you know, on this day to pre-order. We're going to, you know, whatever. So on the 6th, I was allowed, you know, I got a, a thing, a notice on my phone. It said, hey, go ahead, you can pre-order now. Went in, pre-ordered, done. No, no website crashing, no fighting for people, nothing. It was easy. Like, why can't anybody else do that? And I'm not saying that Apple invented that or that they've always had seamless or smooth training, because they haven't. But I'm, just, I'm using that as an example. Why couldn't you just do that? Why couldn't you just, um, you know, send out a thing and say, you know, these times is when you can pre-order. That's it. I know you would have still ran into botters and fake emails and all this stuff with people still trying to get more than one console. I get it. But it, I think it would have been a lot more streamlined if you would have just took a little extra steps. I feel like you know, Sony's was worse than Microsoft's simply for the fact that they knew that Microsoft was, was that Monday or Tuesday or whatever it was. And Sony did their little press conference on Thursday. And it was like, oh, you can pre-order now. And it was like, well, hey, man, that uh, that, that kind of screwed everybody over. Websites, you know, were crashed and stores didn't even know what the hell they were doing. And it was terrible. And, you know, it just goes along with 2020. I mean, it's been a crap year, so... That's my thoughts on things going on lately. So um, I'd definitely be interested to know what you guys' thoughts are. You know, definitely drop me a, a, a comment below. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate it, everybody.